What up? It's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels here with Mike Tubera. How are you doing, Mike? All right, all right. Mike has a big fight coming up January 6, 209 Beatdown 4 against uh, Nigel Archer. How do you feel about that, Mike? I feel good. You know, I'm ready to get my second title and uh, um, go ahead and rep So you, you referenced, you said second title. Your last fight was for the title for uh, War FC Flyweight Championship, correct? Yes. You uh, you got a first round guillotine, uh, thirty six seconds, the quickest submission in War FC history. Oh yeah, I wasn't aware of that, but that's good enough. It was also the first War FC show, though. Yeah, I believe it was the second, but yeah, oh, okay. it is a, it's still yeah. an early promotion. Yeah. <laughs> and so this one is for a title as well. So it's a two hundred nine beatdown um, flyweight title. How is training going? Oh, it's going great. Uh, I'm at the gym, a couple hours a day, every day, just about five days a week. So I'm putting my time in, and then uh, getting ready to start getting getting on the dieting here soon. You know, as I get a little closer to the fight, and we'll start getting on a real strict diet. How about how far out do you start doing that? Uh, dieting, usually like a uh, strict diet, the uh, two weeks, which is no carbs, no red meat, uh, two weeks out. But I've, I've already been dieting, it's not, not that strict quite yet. Doing the same day weigh-ins, I, I know you have to keep more to your uh, true weight, but if you, when you go pro or if you go pro, what would your be your, your fighting cl class? I would still stick around, I would still stay at, at the flyweight division. I like this way. It's, it's right up my alley. It would be a lot easier for me to make weight the day before and be able to rehydrate and, and replenish myself a lot better. So I think I'd be even stronger and and a lot more technical at that at that weight class even I, the day before weigh-in. Right. I noticed uh, you take fights uh, kind of like a, a little bit of distance in between them. This one is a short turnaround. Is there any reason for that? Well, I, I mean, there was a time when, when I first started here in the MMA, in the MMA uh, um, competitions, I, I was taking fights every month, you know, back to back to back. And then uh, I got into a, a pretty bad injury uh, in 2015, and I took a fight fairly short, you know, it was way too soon. I took a fight in December, I think it was maybe 2016, I took a fight, and it didn't go so well, so I decided to give some time. To train and properly recover, and 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 this was my first fight back since then. This last one here at War, and uh, I felt pretty good. I, I trained for, I trained really hard, and and I was really confident. So I want to jump right back onto that routine. You know, getting fights every month, every other month, and, and just start knocking fights out and, and build up a record. Was the uh, quick finish? Was that almost a letdown for you? Surprisingly, yeah, you, you wouldn't think so, but uh, I was uh, really looking forward to putting on a show for my family and friends. I'm from Modesto, and I had a lot of people here coming to support me, you know, and I, I wasn't looking for, for something under a minute, you know. I wanted to, I wanted to go out there and bang, and, and uh, unfortunately, he took me down, and the opportunity was there, and and in this sport, you know, you take what you can get, and then you got to get the W. So right. That's what I did. Right. I often tell people who uh, don't really watch MMA that the real real work goes into the into it in the gym, not really in the fight. The fight is usually the fun stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all the hard work's done in the gym. Yeah. And just for just to get get in there for for five minutes, you know, ten minutes, ten minutes tops. It's it, it's wild, you know. Or in this in my last fight, the thirty six seconds is. Is I would like to enjoy my time in there as much as possible. I'd like to get the full experience out of it all the way to the last bow. You you said you're from Modesto. You train at Dynamic MMA? Yes. Who are some of your training partners there? Uh, Danny Osegega, uh, Raul Godina. They're all pretty, you know, they're all pretty, I got a lot of guys really close to my weight class. We got Little Rob. Uh, we got a lot of guys at the 35 division that, we're pretty, we're pretty stacked up at 35, and that really helps me because I'm the smaller guy in the room. So they they do a good job of pushing me and, and building me up with as far as strength and speed wise. 
So um, this fight is going to be at Stockton Memorial Civic Auditorium, not very far from Modesto. Is all your friends and family going to travel? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I think I'll have um, a showing just as similar to the one I had here in Modesto. Yeah, you did have a pretty big crowd there. I was there. Uh, you could catch it on YouTube. You can see the whole fight, all 36 seconds of it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll check it out. All right. Um, anything that we didn't cover that you'd like to, to put out there, Mike? Um, no, no, I, I think, I think we went over everything, you know, I'm just really excited for this, this, this next fight, and, uh, like I said, to hopefully start getting fights under my belt, and, and maybe around this time next year, I can, you know, start looking for my pro debut. So, January next year? Yeah, it, it's not sooner, you know, depending on, on, on how the fights come and go, and, um, uh, you know, if I can get lined up, I kind of have... I kind of have a, a pretty big record for being amateur. So nowadays, you know, amateurs are going pro after five, six fights, and, and they're ready to go pro. So uh, at the amateur level, it's kind of hard for me to find matchups sometimes. So that's why I'm really excited to just to have a fight. Right. And, that, and more and more promotions are popping up here in Northern California and putting on more shows uh, consistently. So I think it's going to be easier for, for people to, to find fights. Yeah, that's yeah, true, and it, it, it's exciting to, to have, you know, the 209 beat down. It's really close to, you know, it's just a couple cities over, and then the one we had here in Modesto. It's, it's nice to have things close to home. You know, when I first started, I remember traveling. You know, I, I would travel down to San Diego or, or Ukiah, Clear Lake, and, you know, nothing was ever close. And now it's, it's, it's just nice to see the way the sport's evolving and growing. Right, right. You also have a uh, Ismatic fighting out of Merced, I think, on the twenty seventh of January. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it, maybe if it's not too soon, if if all goes well in the six, I can jump on over to that. Right on. I'd be looking forward to that. I'm Just uh, taking all the belts, right? Yeah, I, I wish. That's the, that's the goal. <laughs> that's how it goes. All right, Mike. Where can the fans uh, connect with you on social media? Uh, my Instagram is 08Mikey80. Uh, That's a good place to, to get most of my my footage, pictures, updates, and, and whatnot. Um, I, I don't really have much anything else aside from a Snapchat. I appreciate your time, Mike. January 6th, 209 Beatdown for Stockton Memorial Civic Auditorium. Mike Tibera versus Nigel Archer. Mike will be going for his second championship. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.